Hello and welcome back. And in this video, we are going to be uh, looking at scroll views. Uh, so scroll views are essentially uh, the same as uh, uh, they were in storyboard. Uh, basically, you can have uh, scroll views content bigger than the container itself. And then you can scroll around to basically look at the entire content. Now, scroll view in the Swift UI is uh, just like another container um, uh, view. And uh, it has the child, uh, so it has a, it can have like you know any kind of child. Basically, if you're on a nest more than one child, then you're gonna have to put use another container like vStack, vStack or hStack uh, to contain that. But when the child view uh, within scroll view goes outside the frame of uh, of the scroll itself, then user can scroll basically to bring that content back into the frame. That's the ability that it provides, and you can scroll in two different directions, vertical or horizontal, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and, and take a look. So what I've done is I basically have imported some images, and uh, <clears throat> these images are downloaded from the internet, and we're gonna use that to create our examples. So I've, I've created this variable that takes all the images inside the array, and uh, we're gonna use that to basically render our scroll view. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at vertical scroll view first. So I'm gonna say vertical scroll. That's going to return some view. Scroll view. Okay. Uh, now scroll view takes uh, two parameters. It takes X and it takes yeah, indicators, and then there's a closure. So uh, indicators, basically, uh, the scrolling indicators, that's what it's talking about, and the axis is basically vertical or horizontal. So we're gonna say this one is gonna be vertical. Shows indicator is gonna be true, so we wanna show our scroll indicators. And then trailing closure, now we're gonna put for each cell dot images. That's gonna identify themselves. Image in, and this is where we're gonna create our uh, scroll view image, uh, basically the uh, content. Okay, so what we can do is uh, we can simply create an image. Can resize it, make it fit the aspect ratio. And then we can give it a frame with max height as 400. Okay, so let's go ahead and call this. And we can resume our preview and uh, see what we got. So as you can see, now if I play this, uh, you can see our scroll view is working in vertical direction, okay? So you can scroll in vertical direction. You see the scroll indicator when you scroll. All right, so that's the example of uh, vertical scroll. Now let's take a look at uh, our horizontal scroll. Uh, horizontal scroll has one additional property, one additional container that you need to add basically. Scroll view itself as a container is a vStack. So in order to support the horizontal direction scrolling, we need to create an H stack. So if we create horizontal scroll. And we create our scroll view dot horizontal. Shows indicator true. We're gonna create each stack first. And inside this H stack, we're gonna provide this for each, okay? Now there's one more thing I wanna do actually. I wanna provide max width uh, to, the, uh, to the width of the device. Now for that, we need a geometry reader, which you've already learned about. So we're gonna use geometry reader to get devices 
devices width. So we're going to say geo dot size dot width should be the width for this image. Okay. Now, if we go ahead and put our horizontal scroll and uh, into the call for the body call and uh, rerun this example, you can see we've got our horizontal scroll. And if you notice, our images are going to try to contain themselves within the width of the device. Now, in this case, uh, this image is a little bit shorter or smaller than the width of the device because this image, because we have said like, you know, the aspect ratio needs to be maintained to aspect fit, image is going to try to uh, define the frame and then fit uh, the image to perfect aspect ratio that may uh, basically shrink your image down beyond the width of the device, which is perfectly fine uh, because we want it to maintain its uh, good, uh, its good looks like, you know, when it's being shrunken down so you can still read the content, okay? But yeah, this is the example of scroll view. In the next video, we're going to take a look how we can create a little bit complex example of card. So we're going to expand on this file and basically going to create a card view. And within that card view, um, uh, we're going to add a scroll uh, where you can scroll on either direction or like, you know, in horizontal direction, okay? So let's take a look at that example, uh, like, you know, in the next video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Thanks again for watching.